has been dozen waifus what's going on my name is Hermazar and welcome to another live reaction review of black clover two more episodes this week and next week and then it's all ogre bro let's enjoy the ride for the anime because these next two episodes are going to be phenomenal i'm going to have such a great time this episode being titled devil binding which uh can't wait to see how they are going to uh, animate this part after not finally going to the captain's meeting and meeting everyone for the first time besides Jack and he did say that person is not me anymore oh what does that mean I mean we just barely found out but you know what does that mean some new vigor restored within you know and Asta to save their captains because vengeance very important to you know and of course Yami very important to all of us now before we hop into this live reaction if you guys haven't already please subscribe we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year and if you guys did not know i don't know when this is going to be up probably <laughs> after the fact but uh i was doing a live stream with roger and island arcade on roger's channel where we are ranking the different versions of me from attack on titan so please subscribe if you guys haven't already now let's hop into this episode of black clover also if you guys like the yu yu haka show button up that's kind of you know not like ironed out link is in the description below to otsuko they actually hooked it up with one of these my boobies too big so i can't like fully tighten it all the way does anyone have a a chance that maybe snowman has uploaded it on spotify it is episode 169 <laughs> Did they just change her clothes immediately? Oh, okay, it was only Noelle. Then again, her Valkyrie just probably. Wait, I actually... Hey, there's Nero, Mimosa. I know Charmy, Luck, Leopold. Damn, Mimosa. Mimosa was gifted. If you guys know what I mean. She was gifted. God damn. Damn, Mimosa! And of course, Narrow Baby Girl, Charmy Baby Girl, two of my favorite boys. This is a good squad right here, you know? This is a really, really good squad. <laughs> Damn, they, they really did a great job with this episode. They made it look so, like, fairy-like, very cool, even though, you know, it's elves. Because elves are beloved by mana. It looks like mana surrounding the whole area. Are those are those the kids of, uh, oh shit, the descendants of Princess Tetsuya and Leet? Damn, dude, I read, I read like, dude, she was alive! So Nero was at least able to save her. Lumiere the goat, dude, I want more Lumiere stuff. At least now Nero knows that her hard work for all that was all, was all, like, successful. That was fucking 10 out of 10, let's go! God damn, okay, so this is a lot of things that I fucking forgot about. <laughs> there's a dryad! Dude, there's- Dude, like, when you really think about it, right? One of my favorite genres of anime is, is like, adventure, RPG-like anime. How there's different races. Now, Black Clover had a heavy, heavy emphasis on humans, of course. And then we got introduced to the merman. And then we got elves. And then the dwarf, which is Charmy. Now there is, a uh, fucking dryads. Dude, I forgot. I forgot, forgot how big the lore of this anime is. <laughs> this is so dope though that their enemies from the past is like helping them out now. That is so G bro. That is so G. Look at Gaja. Gaja's just chilling bro. Gaja's chilling. Holy shit dude. He's so OP. Yo, they, they heavily emphasized this way better in the anime than the manga, which is really, really dope. You'll love to see it. <laughs> They're all waking up like, where the fuck are we? Charmy's gonna be like, oh man, there must be some bomb food around here. I actually like Charmy's hair like that. Look, Charmy's so kawaii. Look at Ryan just chilling. Yeah, absolutely. I like how Ernest Noel is being, though. Very cool. Oh my god, isn't that so cool to think about though? That the elves who were previously their enemy, now teaming up with them. Usually people are like, oh, of course, typical shonen shit. But this was so epic considering how like deep the elf arc was. It was like from episode one <laughs> to like the very end, dude. And the mere fact from that situation of the elf arc is still, Kingdom is still recovering from that situation. Bruh, so epic. So fucking epic, dude. I love this anime. <laughs> Yo, we know God just pissed off, dude. He hella simp the queen. We all do too. Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed. The love of his life. The love of her life. The love of his life. Ah, uh, that ain't sister. But you know what? You know, we'll, we'll let Asta think. <laughs> he 
he's chilling. <laughs> I wonder what he's going to tell them. Obviously, this is an emergency meeting. They're all feeling broken a little bit. <laughs> you mean the best witch who could poop on my chest? Y you mean Finral? Very relatable. Okay, G Gauch likes his sister a lot. <laughs> Yo, I'll bet you Magna, because we just don't know what's up with Magna. Magna's gonna come in with Zora and destroy shit, I swear to God. They're gonna hella level up. Well, not everyone's good from the start. Sometimes you have to learn. I feel like he also said that to kind of fire them up because they need to be fired up for a situation like this. But bruh, man, he was hard on them. He was fucking hard on them. But then again, you know, this is nothing new to the Black Bulls. They've always dealt with situations like this of them being told that they're worthless, that they're good for nothing. This is nothing new. They got it from everybody. They're just getting it from their vice captain right now. <laughs> That's so clutch. His house. His house. Oh, I can't wait to see how this all turns out. Dude, the OST, the background music of this anime has always been hella solid. I always liked it. From sad moments to training moments like this. I'm assuming those are the demons that he has. It's like a Pokemon. Oh, shit. That's his demon. I love how his demon it looks like Asta. Also looks like Bakugo. <laughs> <laughs> He's confused! <laughs> That's true. He, like, Asta ain't lying, though. And it's kind of nice that Asta's giving him his thanks. But when you really think about it, Asta's real magic is never giving up. The anti-magic is his demon's magic. So Asta always clutched it alongside with his demon. Boyfriend! And, he's, and he, he accepts the fact that his arm is gone. <laughs> is Asta a dwarf? <laughs> wow, that, that sounds kind of dirty. Holy shit, that's a lot of skeletons. A lot of skulls. He's not wrong there. Hey, sometimes you just gotta use cheat codes to get, you know, to where you need to be. And, you know, Asta's been getting the shit end of the stick since he was born with no magic. Yeah, he's able to differentiate people. <laughs> Story time, baby! Damn, like, what does that mean? I can't believe that's, that's gonna be the ending episode next week. Gonna be so hype. Oh, yes! Heroics, indeed. <laughs> Explains why he hates them so. This episode was cool as fuck, dude. I really enjoyed it. I say that about every episode that I, uh, <laughs> yeah, Gosh, Harmies be different. We get a little bit more, you know, obviously it's not a lot of people knew about who the vice captain was. It goes deeper into who not is. We go to his house where Aston and him are going to be training them doing forbidden magic for Asta to create a binding ritual with his demon. Though Asta learning the things that he learned from Yami about Ki, about, you know, the differences of a uh, killing a intent versus just there to fight. And he's sensing that Lieb is not there to kill him. You know, Lieb is probably just there to take out his frustrations. I love how Asta's humble enough to be like, you know, the only reasons why I've been able to achieve these great heights as a magic knight is because of you. I wouldn't have gone to where I am without you. So thank you very much. He had the time to finally have that time to talk with his demon face to face and say thank you. Literally the first things he says. That makes you, you know, that's what I really liked about Asta. Very humble because he came from the ground up. Very interesting point where when he starts saying that just because you're a demon doesn't mean that you're a bad guy or a devil, you're not a bad guy. And Lieb pictures a woman and it looks just like Asta. What is this demon's relation to Asta? Seems like he's had some relationship with him for a long time, and I wonder what it could mean. Seems like everyone has three days to get stronger than they already are. It took them months to get to where they are now, but that's through typical methods of training, going through what they needed to do within six months to train with the Heart Kingdom, to train with the other magic knights, and etc. So now, they, <laughs> they have even less of a time, so everyone got to use their own cheat codes it looks like everyone that was in the heart kingdom prior is going to be training with the elves which is going to be very very clutch esoteric elven magic which i'm curious to see what that is and even asta going even asta going to the lengths of uh having a ritual a binding ritual with his demon 
So it's going to be a pretty good last episode ride the next one and then it's going to we're gonna get that announcement of whatever it might be oh man i'm gonna be sad when this is all ogre anyways guys that is my live reaction review of black clover if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot subscribe don't forget to click that notification bell my boys and i'll catch you guys in the next one